what would you say is a secret sauce to getting through law school? What tip would you give your first year self now? Um, I would say don't take it so seriously. I think uh, for the first year, I was like, oh my God, I really want to excel. I want to do all these things. And that's important for sure. You should definitely focus in. But um, I think the best part about law school is making the connections, right? Like making the, the connections with your friends and making connections with professors and just learning from them. Like a lot of the times I would like set up meetings with my professors and be like, I'm really interested in this case or like a case that they even worked on, right? Or they've done a journal article for whatever the case is. And they are a great resource for just getting information. So I think looking back, I definitely would just say it's it's okay to take, take a little bit of a backseat, which I did in my second year, for sure. <laughs> But well needed. I wasn't, it wasn't the Gold Coast. Only eight months. I had to make the most out of it, right? Also true. <laughs> How about yourself, Daniel? Yeah, no. Uh, just plan off what Neil said. Just give yourself credit where it's due. Uh, you know, don't take yourself too serious. Understand that it's a law school as a whole is a challenge, uh, you know, whether it's in Canada or Australia. The fact that you're on the other side of the world and you're doing it here where it's completely um, unknown just, just enjoy it. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to be, it's going to sound like a broken record. I'm sure many people have heard it in undergrad or even postgrad, but, you know, stay, stay on top of things. Don't, uh, don't allow yourself to fall behind. And I know that, you know, one thing that I've, I had an idea of going into law school, there's going to be a lot of reading, but mm. man, there is a lot of reading. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you stay on top of your readings and just try to, uh, to find that silver lining to enjoy it. Um, uh, yeah you'll be you'll be okay and don't be don't be scared to reach out like there's a lot of good things uh, that griffith does i'm at griffith so i can only speak to griffith but they have uh, like past sessions which is peer instructive study session uh, which is a, somebody who's done the course recently who's done well and other students in the course that can kind of help um uh, you know ask questions it's just so it's a way to reiterate the information that you learn in classes and workshop uh which i think is great so that's a great resource yeah absolutely yeah. So maybe for students who are, uh, maybe if they're in their last semester and they're applying and they have a break between the end of school and the start of next semester, get some books going. Maybe time yourself, <laughs> do some do some reading training in the meantime. <laughs> Honestly, and I think just, uh, especially with myself too, I noticed that my attention span was horrible. Uh, and I know that that's just something I'm trying to be mindful of, but the ability to kind of sit down and just focus, whether it be mm -hmm. for 30 minutes straight, 10 minute break, things like that, just those study tips and tricks that I see all the time, like try and try and implement them because that for myself, they've been a benefit. Amazing. Um, I know we have a couple minutes left here. Oh yeah, Neil, did you? I wanted to actually just give a study tip, which I think is- Yeah, very, yeah. I think when you go to law school, you think you need to memorize everything and you need to be able to know everything. That is probably the most incorrect way to deal with law school because there's so much information that there's just no way that you can memorize every mm -hmm. little thing. And the most important thing, even when you do the NCAs or you do the bar exam is you have all of your notes. You just have to figure out the best way to be able to know where everything is in your notes. So become more resourceful or more tactful with learning those things in law school. So not focusing on more so memorization, but more fo so for focusing on how do I make this the most efficient and easy way for me in a pressure cooker situation to be able to go back on my notes and know where everything is. So that way, when I do get a, a question or I need to do an essay or whatever, it doesn't take me a week to do it. I can do it efficiently within a short period of time because I know exactly where I need to look. That's really good advice. Yeah, if you memorize that, you would have all those filing tabs in your mind, which would be really hard to get through and access it. Yeah, <laughs> better have all of those. Do you have like sticky notes on all the textbooks and everything going on, different sections? I honestly don't think I ever had a physical textbook. In all, <laughs> all oh, you did a lot of online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of my textbooks were online, so I had no sticky notes. So I got really good at being able to, um, I guess, skim things and, and know where to look exactly. Yeah, you I, just, better at I just dated myself there, right? Because I'm like, oh, yeah, all your handwritten notes in your in your undergrad, right? Yeah, nope. <laughs> well, for the NCAs, you have to print everything okay. out. You can't, use, <laughs> you can't use your computer to, like, go through your tabs. So 
I mean, it's important that, that that's when I use my sticky notes, definitely <laughs> to be um, like, oh, yeah. Go over here. Um, yeah, because you have to have one window open when you're doing the online. Yeah. Okay. We have to literally physically see you go through the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So, 